How important is vocal control in the recording studio? Well, when you have it, you can sing what you want, how you want, with more vocal ability in general, more accuracy of pitch, and more communicative nuance of phrasing and tone. You'll have more strain-free vocal range and dynamics, too. And it will take you a lot less time to get performance magic. So, wouldn't it be awesome to have some hacks that can instantly increase your vocal control? Okay, in this video, I have five for you. Number one, use your hand or hold a drumstick between your palms like this. Why? To widen your rib cage, which widens your diaphragm like a drum head or trampoline and gives you more breath control. Number two, stand with your feet closer to the microphone. Why? Because then you can move your head back, opening your throat channel without moving your mouth too far away from the mic. Okay, and if there's a music stand or cue box in the way, in the front here, simply move them back or to the side or ask your engineer to do this. Oh, and notice how this stance also encourages your rib cage to widen. There's that breath control again. Number three, turn the bass and any swimming instruments down. Why? Because they can pull your ear's perception off center. And sometimes strings, electric guitars, acoustic slides, harmonicas and the like can help you sing more powerfully or emotionally. But sometimes they are vocal control saboteurs. Swimmy or busy instruments should be turned down or completely off in your cue if they're distracting. And the bass, even a bass that the tuner says is in tune will have upper harmonics that distort a bit and are not quite true to the pitch up there where you sing. I noticed this in my own studio work, and now I know that if I or someone I'm producing is having pitch issues, turning down these instruments or off can make a huge difference and is one of the first things I try. Number four, sing through, not to the pop filter and microphone. Why? Because your voice won't know what to do. You might sing well technically, but you will never get the vocal performance magic that you could by focusing your voice to the one heart that your song is talking to. The goal of getting that heart's response to the message of your lyric is what gives your automatic nervous system or lizard brain its instructions as to how your voice should sound. And good luck getting a response from that pop filter. And number five, try singing with your headphones half off one ear. Why? Sometimes, not all the time, so you'll have to experiment. It can help you hone in on the center of your pitch by hearing your voice acoustically as you sing. Don't take the headphone all the way off because both of your ears need the balance of hearing some track. Just slide it back just enough so that you can hear a bit of the sound of your voice in the booth. Like that. These are fast fixes. Because of their effect on vocal control, all five of these hacks can make an immediate improvement in your studio vocals. There are a ton more tips and strategies that can skyrocket the quality of your studio vocals in my two studio courses. One is called Singing in the Studio for Singers, and the other one is called Vocal Production Workshop, and that one's for audio engineers and producers who want to be heroes to their singers. So be sure and check them out. Now you, please let me know your experience if you try any of these hacks. I am adamantly for whatever works, even if it's weird. And you can ask my production clients, that drumstick can be a studio singer's best friend. 
Before you leave, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode of All Things Vocal, the podcast for voices with messages that matter, like yours. 